Eric, you're looking at celebrating the uh, 100th anniversary of your grandfather's flight. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, in 1927, grandfather Charles Lindbergh flew nonstop from New York to Paris, and it really shifted the world's perspective on what aviation could be used for commercial purposes. It, it, and, and aviation really grew extremely fast after that. So we, we ended up in the golden era of aviation. We're at 100 years. Mm -hmm. In seven and a half years, we'll be celebrating this anniversary. So in the meantime, with the foundation, we've set a mission of addressing the threats that we see in aviation. Right. So carbon and noise. We want to radically decarbonize aviation and reduce noise because those issues have the potential to threaten our infrastructure and the ability for kids of tomorrow to have the freedom that we have to fly around. So it's the ideal mission for a foundation to really address these things. And we do that through galvanizing talent, the younger people with STEM education, to get them to apply their, their smarts so that um, we can be quieter and cleaner in the future. And, and so as a goal, the 100th anniversary, we're going to do prizes, awards, and, and events to really um, focus on that and reward and incentivize people who come up with solutions because I love round engines and noisy aircraft. I look, I'm an aviator, right. but we in the industry need this industry to be quiet, especially if urban air mobility or flying cars, EV tall airplanes are gonna come to scale. Gotcha. And Arvin, what's your role in this as the executive director? I know you're probably one of the busiest people in this space right now. Yeah, so to be part of the strategic planning and also to execute. Uh, we can't do this by ourselves, uh, we need to bring the aerospace community together. That includes individuals, that includes industry, uh, that includes investors. We believe that the Lindbergh brand is still a very powerful, motivating and incentivizing force. And our goals are aggressive. We believe that we can achieve that by galvanizing talent to innovate in the direction of clean and quiet flight. It's going to take a lot of work, it's going to take a lot of partners, and we need to execute well. We have a series of announcements that will be coming out. Uh, one of them is a crowdsourced ideation campaign where individuals around the world can contribute their ideas around solutions and incentives that can get us to where we want to go. Gotcha. We want to bring the community together. It can't just be the Lindbergh Foundation, but it needs to be the Lindbergh Foundation galvanizing as much of the aviation community that wants to participate as possible. That includes organizations and individuals. So you can start by going to lindberghfoundation.org, entering your name, and we will keep you informed. And you've actually been in this EV tall electric vertical takeoff and landing space for a little bit already. When did you get involved with that as a foundation? Personally, I saw my first electric aircraft here at AirVenture. It was actually a Sonex full of batteries. And I thought, oh, that helps solve the big issues that we face right. in aviation. And, and so I got into electric aircraft. It really, two years ago, we launched Vertigo Aero to build hybrid electric propulsion systems to enable this market because batteries are coming slower than we all thought originally and we need energy rich aircraft to be able to fly rapid turnaround times at peak traffic hours and do it efficiently and do it quietly right. if we're going to really enable the third dimension transportation for humans. So looking at the 100th anniversary of course I'd love to fly across <laughs> the Atlantic in a hybrid aircraft oh, maybe yeah. an all electric awesome, it? needs to be practical most of all, we're going to have a gigantic global party. Well, we just got our first two donors on this campaign, the 100th anniversary campaign, and the amount is $10,580. Why? That's what the original Spirit of St. Louis cost for my grandfather and his backers to purchase in 1927. And, and it's a very symbolic amount. Those, those folks who helped us to seed right. this campaign are like, yes! And we have a very cool bronze uh, pin to give them that they can wear to talk about the 100th anniversary. I come from an old family. Uh, really, both my grandparents were pioneers right. in aviation. Um, but we want to recognize those new ones who are coming up with the solutions that will lead to a brilliant future in aviation for our kids. Aero TV is brought to you by... 
Lockwood Aviation presents the Gen 3 Air Cam. Sport aviation at its finest. Now available with an optional third seat, gross weight increase, and more power. You simply can't have more fun than flying in an Air Cam. www.aircam.com There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.